Thanks so much, Victoria, for the nice introduction. I'm very happy to be here um, and to show you a little bit about what we're doing uh, in our company. So I founded Live in Farms. I'm based in Vienna. I'm originally Austrian. Uh, we also have a business in Hong Kong. So we originally actually founded uh, the company uh, in Asia uh, with the background of, um, of facing the world's really some of the world's largest problems. So I would say we're addressing two major issues um, with our with our vision of feeding the world while saving the planet. Um, so the first thing is that we are really facing a severe protein shortage. Um, so over the next decade, we're going to see a 60% growth in demand for only animal proteins. Um, so uh, you see the picture of the cattle in the cattle in the background. Um, we are using uh, two thirds um, of the of the land uh, arable land in the in the world um, for growing crops only for feeding livestock, um, and we are in Europe, uh, especially importing about seventy percent of the proteins that we feed every year. Um, so we're running into a large uh, protein gap, actually, so uh, amounting to a hundred million metric tons. Uh, by 2030. So this is really what we're gonna what we're gonna face. Um, we're already uh, running super tight on these resources. We have lost a lot of arable land already uh, to grow proteins, um, and we're importing soybeans, for example, as well as fish meal. So also our local fish uh, in Austria, in Germany, in other European countries, is eating fish meal that is harvested from the oceans. Uh, about five tons of ocean fish go into uh, the production of one ton of fish meal. Um, and that is really a, a, a very critical situation um, that we'll face. Um, and the second aspect is that food waste uh, is a huge problem. If food waste were a country, it would be the third largest CO2 emitter in the world right after the US and China. Um, and those types of food waste um, is usually now going into biogas digesters or compost or landfill. Uh, in, the, in terms of composting, uh, we have a huge CO2 emissions related to it um, that we can absorb with the power of our beautiful superheroes. Um, so insects can really solve both of these problems and be a key enabler and a key problem solver in this huge challenges that we're facing. Um, on this picture, you see black soldier fly larvae. Um, they're the, the larvae of um, a particular type of fly that is native to most of the uh, temperate uh, regions of the world. Um, and they are super highly efficient converters of waste. Um, and on the next slide, you can see the adult stage of this insect, so the black soldier fly. Um, and it looks quite like space, and that's how it feels every day when I get into, uh, into the office. Um, we're really developing technologies that work on the smallest possible footprint and produce the maximum amount of proteins. Um, they are a great alternative protein source as they are a very highly efficient uh, um, user of space. So we're 7,000 times more efficient uh, per unit space than soy, for example. Uh, we use, uh, we cut emissions by 70% uh, in, in, in comparison with soy, and we're 70 times more efficient in water usage per unit grown. Um, so as you see, like we often tend to compare uh, proteins to, to conventional protein sources like beef, um, but even compared to plant-based protein sources, insects have really some key advantages. But most importantly, those key advantages can be met, especially if we use food waste to feed them. The key position of the insect in the ecosystem is that it's a really great converter. It eats wastes out there in nature uh, and turns it into protein sources that are then um, um, very beneficial in feeding other animals, um, such as birds or fish. So
It's also a really natural uh, source of feed for, for animals. So what are we doing now as, as live-in farms? Why, why is it relevant? Why are we relevant? We developed the first automated plug and play technology for industry. So as mentioned, the insect is particularly useful if we use it uh, to convert waste. And that's a major uh, topic because traditional agriculture, traditional production systems are usually um, quite isolated if you want. So we need huge production spaces um, and um, that ends up being a system that we already know and that we that 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 we that we know is very inefficient. We need to grow again proteins and and nutrients on soil, on fertile land, on a lot of water in order to feed animals. But if we can implement plug and play technology for industry that already is having those waste sources, um, then we can really implement something disruptive. Um, so we, with our technology, empower the food and feed industry to turn industrial amounts of low value organics into high value uh, insect proteins. And I'm gonna show you uh, how that works. Sorry about that mishap on the slide there. Um, <laughs> uh, right now, there are thousands of tons of food waste available on an industrial scale. Um, so when I speak about thousands of tons, it sounds a lot for a consumer. However, for the industry, it is a relatively small amount. Uh, it, is, um, it is making a difference, but it is, um, it is an, um, uh, only becoming a pain point now because um, companies are making a loss they pay for getting rid of the waste. It ends up in biogas digestion or even on a compost or in landfills. Um, or sometimes they do feed it into, uh, into, an, into the animal feed industry, but at a very minor, very unattractive gain. So with our technology, um, it's a, it's a plug in waste management solution practically for the industries and they can make 10 times the revenue on the same amount of waste. Um, at, at, at the same time, they can cut emissions by 70% as compared to putting those uh, resources into compost. Um, so the insect products, um, so if I can explain a little bit more, um, uh, the insect products that come out of it are protein meal, defatted protein powder, lipids, and fertilizers. And those go into the pet food markets as well as the animal feed markets. So we can uh, have a sustainable fish again uh, that is not fed on, um, uh, uh, on fish from the oceans. Um, so on the next slide, you see um, that um, our business model not only consists of the technology, the hardware, but it's really a business model for the circular economies. We ship seedlings, baby larvae, um, to be grown in our Hive Pro plug and play factories. So the customer, the industry, food industry on site is not uh, hiring PhDs for growing flies. That's what we do in-house. Uh, the industry simply can acquire our technology, pop in their food waste. Uh, it's all automated. Uh, it's highly scalable. Um, and they get the delivery of seedlings of baby larvae every two weeks. Uh, and then they can just convert their food waste in a minimum amount of time. And I'm speaking one week only. So in one week out of like a tiny, tiny uh, baby larva, uh, it grows into a big fat uh, uh, a larva full of protein and uh, beneficial lipids uh, for the industries. Altogether, we call this farming as a service. Um, so uh, it's, it's really something that can plug into the industry uh, really neatly. Um, we've come a long way. We've commercialized insect technologies since 2013. That was really the start of this industry. Um, so on the left-hand side, you can see our first prototypes in that space. My background is in industrial design. I'm really uh, excited by offering technologies 
to real people, to real business customers, uh, to empower them to be more sustainable. Um, in 2015, we launched our first uh, Hive, we called it Hive Home for customers to grow proteins in their homes. We run uh, a business in, in Hong Kong, as I mentioned, um, with our product called Hive Explorer, where we do this on a, on a tiny scale in schools, where we build awareness uh, with uh, young uh, people already about zero waste and zero waste economies. And since 2019, we've ventured, ventured into the industrial world and are building um, our industrial uh, technologies. Um, so if you look at that, that's, that's roughly summed up in, in, in one slide how, how that system works. So um, we plug into uh, uh, food and feed industry customers, for example, feed mills, um, other examples are starch and sugar producers, fruit producers, and so on. So they have continuous and large industrial amounts of, of food waste that can be perfectly fed to insects. And the insect is much, much more efficient than any other animal to convert it. Um, and that results in high protein feeds as well as fertilizer, um, which then in turn uh, becomes food for people and feed for animals. Um, so it is really a circular uh, business model. Uh, so in our call to action, um, I could say that um, as a business customer uh, or as a business as a business person, uh, if you have access to large amounts of uh, of, of food wastes, um, then um, it it uh, I, I would really address you to to look into how you getting rid of it now um, on a small scale. Um, you can even start circular economy from your home or from your school. As mentioned, we have our product Hive Explorer, which is sort of like a mini science kit um, that comes together with a curriculum um, that leads uh, students as well as teachers through the whole process of growing insects, of growing mealworms in their homes converting their wastes that they have locally in the schools to fertilizer and proteins. So that's a really good example to showcase it. Um, and um, uh, we're working on, uh, on the industrial version uh, that we're launching this year. Um, so um, I'd be happy if you stay in touch and please feel free to, uh, to reach out as we're growing our team right now. You see in our production building, um, we are really uh, uh, working hard, um, so feel free to join us to solve the world's uh, biggest problems.